Hey, what's up guys? It's our Cooper Bro. Back again in yet another video. Uh, showing off some more World War II stuff I got. Um, like most of my World War II stuff, um, it's not genuine. You know, it's a reproduction, but I got more stuff. Um, and I feel like one of the biggest ones is, uh, hold up. As you can see, I got it right here. Sorry, there's like a dog barking. I didn't know what the heck it was. But I got a shovel. I don't know if you guys can see it very well because of the lighting. I'm, family isn't home right now, so filming in a wider location. Oh yeah, and it's super hot. I have a heat stroke if I put on the whole outfit, so I just got the pants on, my socks. I'm not really gonna put on the gaiters. Um, but yeah, I got a reproduction shovel. Uh, and the reason I put it on here, on the side, is, one, it's more convenient for me in case I ever have to pull out a shovel, um, you know, because I, I can't really reach in the back and do that. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> I can't put this, for some reason, I can't, like, put this uh, on the haversack, in, um, in between the haversack and the meat bag. Um, so that's real fun. And I got something else, so let me just put this back in. So like, see, for me, and all I have to do is, hold up. Oh, shit, wait, no. Okay, it's hanging out a little bit, but it's hanging out a little bit. And because I'm a perfectionist, I got to get this perfect. So if you'll please excuse me. Oh, wait. Can this be good? No, you stay in there. Hold on. It may be good. Guys, I'm very sorry. This is eating up a lot of time. Uh, I'll blame you if you just skip this section. Skip 10 seconds ahead. There we go. And that's as good as I'm going to get it right now. Um, you know, I got my canteen. Yeah, I did change out uh, the layout of my grand belt. So I got my first aid pouch here. Canteen there. Um, and then obviously the shovel right there. And then I'm planning on putting uh, the bayonet um, right there uh, for my M1 grand. Uh, I think there's like a dude online who sells like rubber on ones and I'm going to see if I could use that in airsoft game. Um, but then the other thing I got, I can't reach it, but do you hear that? That is something in my meat pouch. And if you're smart, you already know what it is. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I'm very surprised I have come this far with my outfit. It's, uh, it seems very legit. Um, got my mess kit though. So, and you know, flip that there, flip it up, put that there, boom, mess kit. It's, um, I got this for a pretty good price. It's not original, unfortunately. Got it for a pretty good price there and it's like like it, it didn't even bend it's uh it's made of really good metal and i have you guys can't hear me very well i apologize let me actually face the microphone when i speak i have two surprise items that i've had for like about a year now Maybe a little over a year. Um, but I'll start off with an actual item from World War II that I have. Because uh, I've gotten into military collecting. Um, and this is an ammo bag from World War II. The lighting isn't very good. I apologize. And there's glare, so that's always fun. Uh, can you guys see me? Let me fix my hair because I always do that. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a real U.S. bag from World War II. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. I think that there's blood on there. Um, you know, it's, it's like, 
not really rusty, but you know, it's it's definitely aged. Uh, it's definitely seen combat. And there's actually a name in here. Hold on, you guys can still see me. There's actually a name in here. Uh, Whoa. Okay, so this says, you guys can't see it. You'll be able to see the name. This says right here, it's super faded. Uh, it says Victory Cunning? Victory, Victory, uh, Victory Comes, I don't know. Uh, but then the date is 1943. And the name is Neil H.M. And the numbers are 122-8788-2. Now, there's like a little scuff at the very end. I don't know if that was a number or not. Um, if any of you guys are able to like track down um, the owners of items, uh, can you guys please help me out with that? Because I would at least like to see... The owner um or like what happened with him i don't know if that's even possible but i'd at least like to see um and another is an m1 helmet and i've had this for a while it's a real m1 helmet um it's got a little crack in there i think that you could actually see yeah it's got ru uh, rust there uh the liner is legit you could see very well, it's legit. It's got the fiberglass. Um, now, the thing I'm unsure of is if this is late World War II, pre-Korean War, Korean War, um, pre-Vietnam War, or Vietnam War. Um, and if this can help any of you guys out, if you wanna help me out. Um, it's got a little, hold on. It's got a little, I just can't see, can it focus? Oh, you could kind of see it. It's got an anchor, you guys can't really see it, I'm sorry. Uh, but this is an anchor. Um, so it's got an anchor right there. And then it's, uh, you know, this is green and all. And for the, like, you know, the brim, I guess. Um, it's got that, it's folded over, and then on the front, it's also folded over. So if you guys are able to like work with that stuff, then that's amazing. I'd appreciate if you could at least leave a comment and tell me uh, for the helmet, because I'd like a confirmation for the helmet. Don't worry about the bag if you guys can't do anything about that. Um, I just want to at least know about the guy. Um, oh, you guys could see that. Um, and yeah, that's about it for uh, my grand belt. What I did was like, I, I took these little block things and just kind of wrapped it up uh, in electrical tape. So and it's got that silver thing on it, but it works for the grand belt, fits perfectly. And that's about it. Um, I just wanted to give that update video because I thought all this stuff was interesting. And I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos. I am very thankful for that. Um, I know I don't make a lot and apologies for that. If you guys would like to see more then comment, please. Um, and I got nothing else to say. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, I hope that you liked everything that I... Thank you guys very much. I hope that you like everything that I have. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Take care.